I wouldn't say this this lockdown has really changed much for me creatively. I'm still in the studio working every day and self-isolating here. So yeah. Honestly, what's floating my creative boat at the moment is just getting into the studio and uh, with no preconceived uh, notion of what I want to do and just getting the thing done, you know, um, having that dialogue with, with pushing paint around and, and questioning composition and color combinations and things like that. Yeah, uh, I feel like I've pushed into a, a new realm of my own practice lately and um, it's very exciting for me. This might sound a bit funny, but I think my biggest inspiration is actually myself. Um, I've really come so far and I'm really proud of myself for that. You know, I'm, I'm living my dream right now and, and count my blessings and everything I have, my studio, being able to work full time as an artist, that's really inspiring to me. And um, I learned many years ago to treat myself as my own best friend and, um, and really try to challenge myself and see how far I can take things. But of course, music, uh, photography, film, art, it all, it all inspires me as well. Um, so yeah. The advice I'd give to uh, young artists uh, trying to navigate uh, the art world is to um, really just be obsessed. Uh, always for love, never for money. Do it for yourself first and foremost. And if there's someone out there amongst a billion people on this planet who likes your work, you know, you do it for them and you do it for yourself. And just keep drawing and painting every single day. Push paint around. Don't don't worry about style, um, be more concerned about an idiosyncratic way of, of approaching art making. Push some paint around, make some marks, take those marks away, cut it all up, glue it all back together. So yeah, that would be my advice, is to be passionate, be obsessed with what you do, and see as many art shows as you can, and stay humble. The starting point for me making work has changed recently. Um, I'm doing a lot more uh, studies now, taking pencil to paper and um, collaging as well. But I think, I think the, the very first step for me is just picking a single color. I consider myself a colorist. And then, so I, I will react to how that color makes me feel, kind of like a, a call and response, if you will. Um, I think the most important part of the creative process for me is, um, is really critiquing my own work and, and, and just sitting back and looking at it for however long and um, seeing what works, what doesn't work and not being afraid to, to blow that image up either and, and to start again. Um, yeah. What does painting do for me? Well, uh, painting, it gets my rocks off. <laughs> Truly, um, it's saved my life and it continues to save my life. Uh, art is everything for me. I'm eternally grateful to have it in my life. And um, I'm also proud of myself for really giving it a good go. But it gets my locks off. <laughs> there are a lot of artists that I'm collaborating with at the moment, but I think the biggest one for me, my, my dream, um, 
would be to collaborate with Alessandro Michele, uh, the creative director of Gucci. Uh, I really believe in his vision and, and what they're doing there. I'd also really love to collaborate with Noel Fielding. Uh, I see a lot of similarities between us, if I dare say, and um, I hope that happens one day. I will make it happen. What creative plans do I have for the new world? Well, uh, you can expect to see a lot more performance art, uh, installation, and after this whole uh, COVID thing, uh, pushing my work out more internationally, starting with Don't Walk, Walk Gallery in England in October. I'm super excited for that and fingers crossed uh, I can fly over there and uh, hang out in England for a little bit.